hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of m uh, if we have m to the power of 27 is equals to 27 to the power of m square uh, so we solve this problem for the values of m so uh, here uh, the very first thing uh, we are going to do is here first uh, we need uh, to uh, move the variable terms in the left hand side and we move the constant terms in the right hand side so uh, for this first we move the variable terms in the left hand side and we move this m square in the left hand side so in order to move this m square in the left hand side we need to take uh, m squared root on both of the sides so it will be written as m to the power of 27 and its whole power is 1 over m square and it is equals to 27 to the power of m square and its whole power is 1 over m square so further in the next step uh, here we apply this exponent law if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n this means that if you have exponent to the exponent here we just interchange these two exponents or we just multiply these two exponents in this form but here in the left hand side uh, we move 1 over m square inside the term and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m square and its whole exponent is 27 in the left hand side we interchange these two exponents and in the right hand side we multiply these two exponents according to this exponent law so we write these terms as 27 to the power of m square multiplied by 1 over m square uh, and now here in the next step this m square is cancelled out by this m square so we have this is m to the power of 1 over m square and its whole exponent is 27 is equals to this is 27 so here uh, we complete our first step in which we move our variable terms in the left hand side and now here in the next step we move our constant term to the right hand side for this we move this 27 to the right hand side so in order to eliminate this 27 from left hand side we need to take the 27th root on both of the sides and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m square and its whole power is 27 and its 27th root which we write here in this form and in the right hand side we have 27 to the power of 1 over 27. So further in the next step uh, here we again use uh, this exponent law so according to this exponent law we again multiply these two exponents and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m square and its whole power is 27 multiplied by 1 over 27 is equals to 27 to the power of 1 over 27. So this 27 is multiplied by this 27 and we get here this is m to the power of 1 over m square is equals to 27 to the power of 1 over 27. So uh, from here uh, we just move our variable terms in the left hand side and the constant terms in the right hand side and now you focus in the left hand side and you see here now and the exponent of this term is the square of the reciprocal of its base so here our base is m it is the square of the reciprocal of its base that is 1 over m square now here we need to uh, make this type of conditions in the right hand side uh, our exponent is the square of the reciprocal of its base so here uh, in order to make this we need uh, some working in the right hand side so that here first we need to focus in the base of this term and here our base is 27 and we write this base as 3 cubed and we know that here exponent is 1 over 27 and we write this 27 as 3 multiplied by 9. So further in the next step uh, we have this is 3 to the power of 3 and here we write this 1 over 3 times of 9 as 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 9. 
so that here in the next step we have uh, in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m square is equals to here uh, we move this 1 over 3 inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 and its whole exponent is 1 over 9. So further in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications in the right hand side and you see here this 3 and this 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get here 3 to the power of 1 over 9 and in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m square. So further we need more working in the right hand side and we write our right hand side as this is 3 to the power of 1 over 9 and we write this 9 as 3 square and in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m square. So you know that uh, we write this 9 as 3 square so this 3 square equals to 9 and now you see here uh, from both of the sides we have the exponent be the reciprocal be the square of the reciprocal of its base so now here we need to compare both of the sides and when you compare its bases we get m is equals to 3 and when we compare its exponents then we get 1 over m square equals to 1 over 3 square so if you compare both of the sides we will get here the same value of m and that is m is equals to 3 so this is the our final answer of this question and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of m is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or not okay for this we need to copy down the given question statement here it is m to the power of 27 is equals to 27 to the power of m square so this is the our given question statement and now we put the value of m equals to 3 on both of the sides. So it will be written as 3 to the power of 27 is equals to 27 to the power of m square. So here our m is 3 it will become 3 square. And now you see here uh, if we write uh, our 27 as 3 cubed we know that 3 cubed equals to 27. And we know that this 3 square is equals to 9. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 3 to the power of 27 is equals to here we have this is 3 to the power of 3 times of 9 is equals to 27. 3 times of this 9 becomes a 27. So you see here 3 to the power of 27 is equals to 3 to the power of 27. Uh, so we get here uh, both of the sides are equal when we put here the value of m equals to 3. This shows that the value of m equals to 3 satisfied the given question statement. This is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.